Hey, what's up guys? It's a beautiful morning here in Canada. I got my coffee and I'm ready to roll. So a question I've been getting a lot of is, is it worth paying top players for lessons? And the answer to that is gonna be totally. You know, I don't see why not and I think it's a great idea. Let me explain why. Basically, there are two ways of learning. That's either you learn from your own experience or you learn from the experience of others. The problem with learning from your own experience is that it's one of the most timely ways of learning something. Imagine all the struggles and hardships and all the time spent figuring things out and dealing with stuff and if there was someone ahead of time, if you had some sort of mentor who could have told you what to look out for and what you need to know so you don't have to spend hours and hours trying to figure it out yourself. A good example is in school, right? You have teachers to teach you, but sometimes teachers don't really teach very well, so then I have to spend time figuring out myself how to do it, and that takes me hours. But then after, I could go teach my best friend in five minutes because my teacher explained it to me like I'm already a PhD student. So I need to figure out the explain like I'm five version and then I explain it to my friend in that way and he learns it instantly. So I act as my friend's mentor and it saves him tons of time. If he wasn't my best friend, he'd know it's probably worth paying for. If you've ever looked at any of these articles talking about successful people in life, you will always, always, always see it comes back to a mentorship or an apprenticeship that they went through. I mean, probably not always, but always to a degree. The more common examples are Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, and Bill Gates. Basically, if you only learn from your own experience, then frankly, you're screwed. All of you guys have learned from other people in a way, shape, or form. Imagine you got Super Smash Bros, but didn't have the internet and it was only you against CPUs. Let's say that player tried his best to get good over a hundred years. By the end of it, he would still be trash. And that's because he wasn't able to share information or learn from the information of others. Even if we had two human players trying to be the best at a game, the amount they could learn is severely limited. What most of us have is a second degree mentorship where it's not a direct mentorship, you know, the top players aren't telling us, giving us direct advice, but we're watching them play, we're watching their videos, watching what they have to say, watching the clickbait because we still love it, but it's not direct. In Super Smash Bros, Zero highly, highly directs his success thanks to Mewtwo King putting him through an apprenticeship, teaching him the ways of Smash, and then Zero became the number one player. I think that is no coincidence. Even if it's not direct, it's still amazing. And I'm not saying you need a direct mentorship to get to that top level, and I'm sure those top players didn't. I'll be totally transparent here and say that I do offer lessons. If you're interested, you know, you can message me on Discord. I'm always chilling. And it might actually be better if you're very, very new to start with a less expensive player to learn from, but you don't need to do a direct mentorship, but it will definitely speed up the process. The lengthiest is learning from your own experience, then you save some time by learning from the experience of others, and then you save tons of time learning directly from the masters. This is honestly why I wrote my own book so I could share the experience I've learned so they could avoid the shit I've had to go through. It's also why I am well read myself because I want to learn from what other people have learned and gathered in this lifetime. It's a short lifetime and I don't want to waste time trying to figure things out for so long. In the end, I hope this video caught your interest in some points and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that DK thumbs up, spank that subscribe button, have a swell evening, and I'll see you next time.